Hello to my Pisces. Pisces, let's get right into your reading. Hopefully you all are keeping your stress levels down as much as you possibly can this week. We are coming up on a master number for this new moon. Six, six is a master number, right? Six is a very nurturing number. It's a very creative number. So when you're talking about creating room or making room to create something, double it. We're in the middle of the, the calendar year. So if you've been feeling kind of uh, stagnant and what you're trying to create, this is an opportunity for you to speed it up. And that portal is open. So whatever it is you've been trying to talk about, trying to double up on creating, this is a great time to do it, right? So that portal is open and um, you're closing out a cycle. You're closing out one phase within the cycle. We had a full flower moon in this particular cycle. You're probably watching this video on the 4th of June and we have a Technically, the new cycle, new phase within a new cycle begins on the 6th of June, 6-6, six, six, right, which is a master number, but the portal is already open, so it's kind of overlapping already, and so um, you want to, like I said, enter your, your um, enter your, I mean, honor, excuse me, you want to honor your inner introvert, and so take some time to kind of unplug from other people's stress and drama and focus on plugging into anything that recharges your battery while you're you know, getting your rest and those kind of things. So trying to keep the stress level down as much as you possibly can. Let's get into it. Let's get into it, Pisces. Let's go. I'm talking to you wherever Pisces is in your birth chart. Wherever Pisces is in your birth chart, I'm talking to you. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it, Pisces. Let's do it. Let's go. First card out of the deck is the Four of Wands. All right. I love it. Here we have the Two of Wands. Here we have the Ten of Cups. Here we also have the Seven of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, and also the Knight of Cups. I love it. I love it. I love it. Here we have the Four of Wands here. Here we also have the Two of Wands here. Here we also have the Ten of Cups here. Here we also have the Seven of Pentacles here. Here we also have the Three of Pentacles here. And then we also have the Knight of Cups. Right. All right. All right. All right. So your wishes are actually being fulfilled in terms of whatever it is that you've been praying for, right? So it's two major things that you've been praying for. Somebody may have been asking for love and also vacationing and, you know, a social circle or sacred um, ties. And that's happening. It's already in motion, right? So again, keeping your stress level down is going to be key. And then also praying, like being very intentional and deliberate, right? So this is a great time to do it, Pisces, when you start thinking about getting your rest, you know, the during this week, getting your rest, really being deliberate and intentional, get, firing up that burning bowl and saying, I need to get rid of, I need to release all of the uh, aggressive relationships around me or the people who are aggressive, people who are, um, they are impulsive. They jump to conclusions about people without even knowing, you know, full stories about stuff. Um, they just jump to conclusions about people, they don't give people an opportunity to evolve. They harshly judge people without knowing people. I need to get rid of all of that. Like, I, I don't want to be contaminated with all of that, right? I do, I'm trying to live a softer life myself, so I don't want to be connected to people like that. Um, people who, you know, try to disrupt other people's family life, you know, they think it's funny and it, they think it's cute to, um, you know, disrupt other people's peace in some way, shape, form, or fashion. I don't want any of those, whether they're clients, going to lunch with them, colleagues. Now, it's not like you're harshly judging them, but when you're talking about, you know, uh, water being reflective, it's a negative reflection on who you're associating with. So when you're talking about getting connected to these types of energies, the only person that can save you is you. So you're saying water is shaped and guided by the earth that holds and, and surrounds it. And you're saying, okay, you are the earth. You can take your earth and water somewhere else. And this is what you're going to come up with, right? So if you're saying, okay, I want to be connected to a new and exuberant love, you don't want to be connected to energies that would like to be connected to people who like to mess up other people's situationships or their relationships or love interests and those kind of things. You don't want that to come back on you, especially since somebody's talking about building uh, legacy wealth, you know, with somebody, you know, you just never know who knows whom and that kind of stuff. You only want to be connected to that. So I definitely feel like two major blessings are coming across your path. And so however you pray and ask God for clarity and how to handle certain things, I definitely feel like you're going to be successful at releasing um, two types of energies and just moving on from those types of energies, right? And so um, and I definitely feel like you're going to pray for clarity. Ideally, 
you know, those energies will get the message and just kind of sort of fall off. You know, for those of you all who may be like, you know, dealing with family members or friends or if you have businesses, clients or things like that, they'll, ideally they'll just move on. Um, but if you have to interact, that I think that you're going to have to you praying for clarity, for answers um, to just move on from. <clears throat> excuse me, move on from those things. It's, everything is lining up perfectly for you all. So here we also have, yep, everything is fine. Yep, everything is fine. Everything is fine. Yep, here we also have the two of swords. And um, so something may have already have happened. Something may have already happened. I feel like somebody may have already gotten the message. So you may not even feel like, here, yeah, everything is fine. Um, yep, everything is fine. Yeah, because you don't have to overthink it to a point where you your creativity is drying up over it. Yeah, something may already be behind you. Yep, two situations may already be behind you where you just like, you don't even want to have to deal with it. You know, you're dealing with the hurt people that hurt other people. You may not even, it's sources saying to you, everything is fine. They may have already dropped off. They may have already moved on. So sources saying, hang in there with yourselves. You're learning how to just dream bigger and just, um, you know, and hopefully just kind of sort of move on. Because that situation, those types of situations usually take care of themselves. Here we also have the seven of pentacles here. And, um, and it came out, came out twice, like came out twice. So when I say everything is lining up perfectly for you all, it looks like there's two types of situations in particular that your high priestess, your intuition is already telling you to hang in there, you know, with yourselves. You're learning how to pray for clarity and actually see things like visual or the power of visualization. You're seeing that people are moving on. However they're moving on, they're moving on, right? Yeah, you don't want to be connected to that type of, you know, energy. It's like, you know, like I said, those, um, because that's a particular frequency. That's a particular frequency. So if you're praying for, you know, love to come into your life, a new and exuberant love, and you're connecting to energies that are, you know, um, burning other people or bringing disruption or, uh, you know, disruption into other people's peace. That could be a reflection on you because of being on that frequency, like staying tied to people that's on that frequency can bring disruption into yours. It can actually delay, you know, you meeting your person or being on that frequency as well. So that's what I'm saying for you all. So I definitely see where somebody's like blindfolds off and you're saying, okay, I can, now you can kind of sort of see that. Here we have the two of wands here and it came out twice, right? Came out twice here. And so, um, and here's the death card, right? So somebody sees it and somebody saying, okay. And so you, these people sitting around a table here kind of sort of have, that's like I said, on that, that same frequency is like people are not overstepping boundaries at that, at that table, right? So here we also have the magician card and that's how you're taking your power back because it's not a disorganized way of thinking. It's not confusion, disorganized mind. People are not overstepping boundaries. You're not looking for people's acceptance and their approval. You know, you're financially independent, so you don't need to be connected to those types of spirits, right? You don't need to be connected to that. Here we have the um, four pentacles, and you're not even giving it that much time. You're just leaving it outside your vault door. Yeah. Here we also have the eight of swords. Yeah. So... Um, sources say, yeah, and it, it would be a form of self-sabotage too. It would be to be connected to those types of spirits. It's a form of self-sabotage. Here we also have the two of cups here. So I definitely feel like sources saying is bringing you, you know, an energy that, um, bringing you, uh, like I said, you learn how to save yourself, you know? So I feel like somebody has new energy coming across your path that's helping you, you know, with that, you know, helping you with that. Here we have the ten of swords. You survived a lot yourself. So we have 10, 10, 10 here. So in terms of your intellect and just how you think, Pisces, your mind say you're very clear in where you're thinking. So if you're saying, okay, if I want to attract sacred relationships, I want to detach from all karmic ties. Anybody who has a certain mindset, I don't want to be a, that would uh, have a poor reflection on you that would connect, that would stop or block you from being connected to sacred ties. It's starting to make sense. That's how you're taking your power back, Pisces. Yeah. So in your personal and your professional life. So you don't even want to be connected to family members who have that kind of um, aggressive kind of, um, you know, like, you know how, what was it? It was, oh, oh my gosh. It used to be a, um, it was a, it's like a 10, 10 part documentary on um, Amazon Prime. Um, 
what was the name of that documentary? It was about this family and like just the mere mention of the family's last name. It's like the town sheriff and all this. It's like, oh yeah, that family, they nothing but bad news. Like the whole, like just to think about the family name is just bad news. It's like being associated with certain people. It's just like, okay, it's just bad news. Like if you work for a particular um, organization, like if you say a certain company's name, it's like, oh, that company, such and such. Oh, you work for them? Like, oh, everybody that worked for that company, bad news. Being associated with certain things, just bad news. Just like if you're if you work for certain organizations, people are like oh, they eyes light up. Oh, okay, you know, like oh, you work for certain organizations, people start automatically get fearful, like nervous, right? So sources saying, you know, when you're talking about coming together with sacred for sacred ties and sacred, you want to you talk about sacred relationships. You know exactly now where you want to be connected to and what you don't want to be connected to. And like I said, it's not harshly judging anybody. It's just like on, it's a frequency that you're talking about. So here we have the nine of swords. You don't want to. You don't want any like I said nightmare situations happening here. So you've awakened from some nightmares yourself in the past, and um, you don't want to be connected to you know other people's nightmares either. So yeah. So that's where that's where it stops. You've awakened from, you know, some past nightmares yourself. So Yep, and those nightmares can extend to a whole lot of things, you know, just kind of sort of just like the things where you're thinking about just other stuff. So this is like somebody has definitely an overgiver of thought to some things. So we got uh we got 10, 10 and 10 here and we're starting our sources just saying everything is fine, but somebody wasn't tying their th their thought process together. Somebody, it just wasn't making any sense until you got some fresh air and got away from just like people's thought process. You're like, okay, now it's starting to make sense. Like people, people that's connected to certain organizations, people, places, they're connected to certain people, places and things. They think like that. Okay. Now it's starting to make sense. It's starting to make sense. That's how people who, you know, like from, from like other countries, other cities, states, countries, provinces, draw conclusions about people. They're like, oh, people from that country or people from that city or state or province, like you hear things about people like that's how they talk or that's how they think. That's how they dress. It's like, that's their culture. That's how they are like that kind of thing. And so somebody is starting to think, you know, like it's things are starting to make sense to people. Things are starting to make sense. Here we also have the Seven of Pentacles here. Here we also have the Page of Pentacles here. So Seven of Pentacles came out three times. It's like the Ten of Pentacles came out three times. So things are starting to, <clears throat> excuse me, things are really starting to add up for you. So Ten, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to lay these out. So Ten, Ten, Ten. Hold on. Ten, Ten, Ten. So this is interesting here. Um, seven, Seven, Seven. I'm going to put all of this here. So yes, yeah, something has done you, you um so things are starting to make sense because 10 is the number for instant manifestation, right? Something has definitely ended. Here we have um sources making sure you're financially independent. And also here we have the eight, like something like at first just wasn't making sense. Like somebody could not see how <clears throat> excuse me, looking at your cars here, somebody could not see how someone was trying to some energies were trying to mirror your um like they were spending time and speaking of worth spending trying to spend time possibly even money trying to absorb like trying to absorb someone's um gifts but that's how you started saving yourself like it looks like somebody's very creative obviously if you're pisces you're very creative anyway but that's how somebody was trying to absorb you know, somebody's gift, like trying to learn certain things from you. Here we also have the eight of wands here. And so sources is saying, yeah, you've gotten, you're just getting as far away from those energies as possible. So as anyway, as, as a water sign, because you have, um, because you're a water sign, it would be like right in your element. So it's nothing that, you know, because you're constantly in creative mode, you know, you, you figuring something out and you're hanging in there with yourself and you just saying, okay, you need a dead situation. It's still like they would still have to kind of go back to the drawing board to even try to figure out what you, you know, that kind of thing anyway. So you, somebody is investing more into themselves. So there's more wealth coming across your path. So I see you being victorious anyway. So again, it doesn't matter. Source is saying to you, it's two situations in particular. Like I said, you've been um, successful at, let's see, four and two is six here. 
four and two is six here, right? Um, and we also have six here, so successful, successful. And so it's just saying you and somebody are getting away from these types of energies fast, like or two situations that you've been successful at and you're getting away from fast. And so source is sending soulmate energy into your life and just, you know, a new creative group of energies around you, just protecting your energy. So, yeah, it definitely would have been, a, you, you've awakened from some nightmares. You and somebody has awakened from nightmares. So, can, um, pretend, you know, continue protecting your energy. And then even in a, um, even in a, uh, we're talking about Knight of Wands here, does that be seven? Even in your prayer and meditation, like, Source is showing you everything. I mean, Source is just really showing you everything, all the flares, all the, all of that. Like, you just, you see everything, so... Congratulations. Yeah, this is a this is a major win-win for you all, Pisces, when I look at your cards. It's just like people trying to, you know, keep you in a state of confusion and, and just keep you drained, exhausting your gifts. That's why I talk about the the moon phases on your car. So it could have been an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius spirit, that type of a spirit, more of like aggressive, maybe combative type of spirit, cause some kind of anxiety. Um, somebody that you weren't really looking forward to. It doesn't necessarily not be this sun sign. It could have been somewhere in there, somewhere in there, um, something about their energy. Like they could have been disorganized, stern, inflexible, could have been like a, have the inability to control their passion, um, could have been imbalanced in some way, shape, form, or fashion that your spirit picked up on that energy, Right. Um, so it may not have been their sun sign. So you, it's something about their spirit that you picked up on though. And so, like I said, that just, like I said, you've awakened from, you know, some kind of a nightmare and, uh, you just don't want to be associated with it at all because it absolutely was, it was delaying something that you were, that you were praying for, for yourself, but the delay is over. So now you've closed out a cycle. It's starting to make, it makes sense now to you. The cycle is closed out definitely close out. Let's see what else we got going on here. So this is some good news. I mean, you know what, when I look at, um, when I look at, you know, the, <clears throat> excuse me, readings for everybody, actually everybody is getting really good news because everybody is starting to end your rest, you know, just kind of sort of figuring some things and like tying things together, Pisces, as to what was delaying people's blessings the things that you were praying for. And that's what it really comes down to. It's just like rest is also one of the most overlooked rituals too. It's like when you get your rest and you really start piecing things together and journaling and praying and those kind of things, and you start saying, okay, so what are some of the things you may have been overlooking? That's what it was. Somebody was just kind of burned out and just like, you know, just kind of like sometimes you think when you burn out, okay, drink more coffee, drink more caffeinated drink, anything that's going to give you more energy when it's actually having, it's counterproductive, right? So, so it's just saying, this is what somebody was praying for. Somebody was praying for soulmate energy in a, um, and your soul, your sacred connections to come together. And that's exactly what's coming together for you. But so it's just saying, everything is fine. You know, everything is fine. Everything is coming together. You're just waking up from some nightmares. Here we have the Justice card. Justice card came out twice. Eight of Cups, the Devil card. Here we also have the Temperance card and also the World card. Yeah. So, Justice card came out twice. Um, Justice card came out twice. Um, and then also the Devil card, you know, came out twice. I mean, card, Devil card came out. And the Temperance card. So, Somebody, um, somebody had a, a guardian angel watching over you, someone who transitioned on the other side, you know, watching out for you, just showing you that everything is closed. Something is closed out, you know, something has been fulfilled, right? Here we also have the eight of cups here, um, where something has been fulfilled. You learn how to save yourself and, you know, to get, getting away from just aggressive spirits, you know, like you learn how to figure some things out, you know, kind of on your own here. And not no longer do an injustice to yourself. Like get away from energies that would have, um, you know, you've learned how, like some dissolutions of agreements. You know, some things have been, like I said, um, some things have been resolved. So, yeah. So even if it wasn't a legal something, it's just the indecisiveness for somebody like was just kind of like causing anxiety. So... The justice card ties us with Libra. And so Libra would be like the scales of justice, but the scales of justice is also about peace and balance, right? And so when Libra, the low end of Libra would be indecisiveness, but it's also ruled by Venus. 
the planet of love, pleasure, art, music, aesthetics. It's also the peacemaker planet. It's associated with the color green, Pisces, right? Um, but when it's out of balance or when it's the dark side of Venus is that it can be vain and vengeful and disruption of peace. And so source was saying now it's starting to, something is starting to help you with something to see that when you associate yourself with energies that are vain and vengeful and disrupt other people's peace knowingly when you know that they are disrupting other people's peace in any way shape form or fashion when they are vain and vengeful um and just selfish and just their behavior it actually it actually throws you out of balance being connected to them again you're not harshly judging them but it's like okay you're praying for something but you're connected to something that's throwing you out of balance and that's when you're starting to say okay you're praying for um you're actually praying for it. and so you had a guardian angel on another side that's saying you don't want to be connected to that because they're saying that's what threw them out of balance so if you have a loved one on the other side that that's like it's almost like they're saying if they had known in the physical sense on when they were on this side of like in physical form, they would have detached from certain energies themselves. Like they wouldn't have been associated with certain people, places and things. Life would have been much different for them if they were in the physical sense, if they had detached from certain people, places and things. So that's the lesson that they're trying to tell you from the other side. And I don't know who that was for Pisces, but that's what they're saying to you. So that's a message from the other side for somebody. So take that however you know, you want to take it. So there are definitely some people, you know, like I said, who will think that you're harshly judging them, but Pluto is currently retro, uh, retrograde and Pluto is the judgment card. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so Pluto is that when you're talking about, you want new friendships, you want love relationships, you know, those kind of things. Ideally, you don't want to be um, connected to energies that are, um, that are, Let's say, for instance, you say you want to, let's say somebody wants new and exuberant love or, or like they want friendships. Like you don't want to be connected to people who are always talking negatively about their friends behind their back because you're kind of struggling to find out, okay, what do me and this person going to have in common? If they're always talking about their friends behind their back, then you always almost, I almost feel obligated to talk about your friends behind their back. Like, okay, I don't want to talk about my friends not having a great relationship. You must feel like you got to find something to talk about or if you and your spouse are having a really peaceful relationship, y'all have a, you know, really good relationship. Like you all have a, a, a decent bond. You almost feel like you have to talk about, like find something wrong. So, and that's not what you want. So, yeah. So that's what sources say. I'm trying to flush out all of those types of spirits from around you to bring you together with these sacred relationships that you've been praying for. So that's what I'm saying for you all. So congratulations to you all for figuring that out, Pisces. And, um, and it's all coming together for you. It's all coming together for you. So let's close this out. Let's close it out. Let's close it out. Let's close it out. So here are the questions for you, um, for those of you all who like the questions, but yeah, that's what somebody is saying on the other side is like, you know, you're going to, your relationships are coming together for the frequency that you're on. And I think this week is going to really help some people speed some things up. First question is how often do you feel pleasure? Second question is, do you feel guilty about pursuing pleasure? Third question is, where are the energy blockages and places of tension located in your body? Um, the fourth question is, can you discern how your body says yes to some things and no to others? And then last but not least is, what does your body need? 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 What woo, does your body need? So yeah, your enemy's playing backfired. Yeah, your enemy's playing backfired. Yep, your energy, enemy's playing backfired. So yeah. Yep, somebody has a demon of pride, not you, but somebody has a demon of pride. So you have the gift of clairvoyance. You see things clearly. The new one is extra special. Uh, much better lies ahead for you. Your ancestors have a message for you. Somebody, um, you know, met their match. And so don't return their call. Get locked in and laser focused. Um, somebody regrets lying to you, whoever that was. Um, you have the gift of clear audience. You have clear listening. And so get booked and busy, not bitter. You know, you know, I don't see you being booked. I mean, bitter and burdened by anything. The, somebody, some kind of curse is now broken. You have the gift of deja vu. That's remembering the future. Your laughter is medicine. So relax. And so things are just flowing to you like water. It's time to schedule a vacation now. So your gifts have been increased. 
And I'm not surprised your gifts have been increased here, looking at your cards here. So it's all good when I look at your cards. But somebody, like I said, rest is actually one of the most overlooked rituals because that's when you really start to process, you know, you start getting stronger. I feel like somebody is doing, because um, we got all this fire here, which connects with the so, uh, solar plexus chakra. Somebody is doing more core strengthening workouts and exercises and you feeling stronger from your core. Yep. So yeah, you're definitely not doing an injustice to yourself and your personal or your professional life. And you're awake, awakening from some nightmares. Um, uh, just here we have, I am compassionate. So it's your compassion that makes you shine. You are devoted to helping the greater good and you have a strong talent for speaking up for others. Your soul is most satisfied when you are being of service. Number nine. Yep. So number nine. Yep. Number nine. So it's your compassion for others. You look at everybody is like when you, when you're connecting with people who come across as having no compassion for other people, you don't want to be connected to that at all. You're like, you don't want to be connected to that because you already know what it feels like when people show you, showed you no compassion whatsoever. So I see your group coming together, your sacred group coming together. You've awakened from nightmares. Um, you're helping other people to awaken from their nightmares as well. And that's what I see for you. I'll see you all in the next reading. Hopefully these questions have helped you. And like I said, continue. Um, like I said, source is saying something has been complete. Source is saying stay as far away from those types of energies. And I do see you being successful at, you know, um, releasing um, those uh, types of energies. Like I said, they may be asking why, why are they being released? you know, in some way, shape, form, or fashion. They may not understand, but you understand in the spirit realm why you are just releasing those types of energies. They may be upset. They may be mad. You know, they may talk about you like a dog, but then that's, that's between them and whatever karma they have coming back on them. That has nothing to do with you at all. So I see you moving on. Like I said, you're a very compassionate person, and I do see you moving forward and protecting your mental and physical health. But I'll see you in the next reading. Okay, bye.